Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to run condition based queries in execute SQL task in SSIS package. First I will show my table. This is my course table. Right now we don't have any data. If you observe the metadata of this table, there are two columns. So if you observe the course ID as seed and increment value. So I want to insert the uh, values into this table using execute SQL task. So before that, I am taking one variable. My variable name is flag. So data type is string. So I am passing the value here as i. i means insert. So I am dragging the execute SQL task. Double click. So here I am taking my connection to the database. Sample underscore database is my database. So in the SQL statement, I am writing the script here. So first I am declaring one parameter called flag whose data type is where chair 1. Okay. I am setting the value at flag at flag is equal to question mark. I am setting the value at flag with question mark. So here I am writing the condition. If at flag, if at flag is equal to i, if at flag is equal to i, then begin and end. In between begin and end, you need to write your statement. So here I am inserting into course. My table name is course. So I am passing only value for course underscore name because course id is the identity, identity column values so here I am passing two values comma two values and end with end okay if you were variable value flag then you can insert the insert statement so if you were variable flag the variable value of the of your flag of your variable is t then in a truncate statement truncate table course this is the script so first i am declaring the value i am setting the data type so i am setting the value for the um, parameter as question mark later in parameter mapping I need to replace the question mark with the variable so if, if your value of your parameter is i then it will insert the statement if your value of the parameter is t then it will truncate the truncate statement okay okay go to parameter mapping add we already declared one variable in starting. So I am selecting that user variable. Where data type as where chair. So I'm making it a, a zero. So all set. Now if you run the package, two rows are inserted into this table. SQL and Python. So I'm going to run the package now. Yeah. Package ran successfully. Check your table. SQL and Python with 101 and 102. Now I am changing the value for our variable as t. We already mentioned if, if your flag is t, it will truncate your table. So I am executing the package again. See here. Two rows are truncated. Table is remain there. Two rows are truncated. So this is how you need to create condition based in execute SQL task. 
which is very important at the time of the uh, truncating the table and inserting the data staging uh, inserting data into stage table so this condition based queries we need to write here in executive field thanks for watching the video thank you very much